Now, even in the beer business, nothing stays the same. Fresh off the Bud Light controversy, Miller Light now taking heat for a resurfaced commercial that was filmed before the whole Dylan Mulvaney thing, denouncing its own sexist past. Disgusting. Watch. Women were among the very first to brew beer ever. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wow. Look at this <laughs> wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their <laughs> the whole beer industry's it's time beer made it up to women, which is why we created High Noon. They're apologizing for using bikini-clad women in their advertising decades ago. Is there anything left for a non-woke, red-blooded American man to drink? Joining me now to discuss a blue-blooded American woman. He is a comic <laughs> and host of Fox Across America. He's also on the Laughs and Liberty tour. Boom! With a very special little lady, it is Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Um, so Good to see you. I can't think of a worse group of joyless and frigid jerks than angry <laughs> feminists. Oh, they're just the worst, are they, they really not? They are. And they clearly have no connection to their consumers who, I gotta be honest, are a little passionate about women in bikinis. Okay, it's not a bad thing. Okay, to be a woman who looks good in a bikini, first of all, which is why this argument is so stupid. Sports Illustrated puts out 55 issues a year. You know which one is the top seller? Not the one with baseball bats and footballs <laughs> in it. It's the one with the bathing suits, Woo, K Chase. Stewart. Yeah, I've never seen my 14 year old lock himself in the bathroom with a Ken Griffey magazine. <laughs> but uh, for some reason, there's that other one. I'm not saying it couldn't go that I way. I locked myself and, in the bathroom with Ken Griffey. I mean, who among us? Let's talk about it. <laughs> but they're just the worst people known to man because beer. Beer is not where you go for grievance. Beer is not where you go for a lecture about the patriarchy or anything in between. It's where you go to get the hell away from all of that. Yeah, isn't that why you drink beer? Beer, but that's the thing that shocks me is these ad executives, people who don't like women in bikinis, they don't drink beer. Thank you. They drink rosé, literally, or high noon or white claw. They this don't drink this. Like there's an entire new mm -hmm. spirits industry. Around people who want to get in touch with their feelings. <laughs> Beer is not it. They want to numb their feelings. But I look at this and I'm like, have you completely, like, have you never been to the middle of the country? I mean, it's you never very been to a, nice. You've never been to a ball game, you've never been to a NASCAR race. The problem is, all of these, you know, we call them woke marketing executives have prioritized diversity, equity, and inclusion scores over the preference of the customer, meaning they're no longer catering to the customer's preference. They're trying to change the customer's Absolutely preference right. to make their social credit score more acceptable. So what happened is we used to have mad men, now we have mad them. That's what Don <laughs> Draper is now Dawn Draper, and we can't have anything we want in our advertising. Yeah. It's the stupidest time there's ever been to be alive. It really is, but I, I just, th they had the, the great misfortune of this coming out after yes. the Dylan Mulvaney well, thing. Like, they did this first, like, oh my God, we're so amazing well, and revolutionary. Well, this is what I love about <laughs> this, okay? Their response to the criticism yesterday was it's just a joke, it's no big deal, get over it. As they've quietly <laughs> buried this video <laughs> anywhere they could. Cats out of the bag. You don't see it in their feed, you don't see it on the website, it's like at the bottom of their YouTube feed, yeah. okay? Because they know this looks like a liability to their consumer. Mm -hmm. But that's the part I also hate is this condescending take, which is like, oh, shut up, it was a joke. No, it wasn't a joke. You, no, try you spent well, millions of dollars on that campaign. When you trash marketing that works, you're trashing the people who responded to the marketing. I just, women listening at home, this is not just Jimmy Fallon talking, it's America talking. Nowhere in the world is someone ever going to resent you because you looked good in a bikini. You're never going to be in a conversation like, you know, that girl, she was funny, she was cool, but gosh, her boobs look so great in the bikini. <laughs> Don't ever bring her back here I'm again. Disgusting. I can't. Not, what not again. I'm, out, I'm canceled. I'm switching to White Claw. Although some of the women at the party be like, oh my God, she looks so good in a bikini. What a bitch. <laughs> I had she's, her. she's a bar. I had her. <laughs> but it's like, it really is an uphill battle because there's so many different things you can drink now. And we have millennials and Gen Zers to thank for that. But because they, they want more than beer. But so instead mm -hmm. of shaming people, like yeah. the last remaining customers you have, embrace them, coddle them, stroke their hair. I'm, I'm, Buy them a baseball mitt. I'm telling you as a man who looks like he gets paid in beer. Okay, to be clear, it's meth. Okay, it's not beer. I know there's a rumor it's not that. It's not beer. But you never go into that beer freezer 
with a thousand options mm -hmm. and go, gee, if only one had a woman in the dress on the cover, mm -hmm. or if only one told me I was a dirtbag because I like chicks in bikinis. You always want a cool one. That was the response. I bet you could use a cool one. Mm -hmm. No one ever, you know, Eddie in the movie Vacation doesn't elbow Clark and go, I bet you could use a woke one. <laughs> no, no, a cool one. Now you're talking, pal. Remember? How'd you like a hard cider? <laughs> hey, I'm not, I'm not going to expound on that because it can go a lot of places. Hooper's full. <laughs> uh, are we going to take clear water by storm? Clear water's going down. Yeah, well, Saturday night we're going to be there. Oh, look at that. Yes. Clearwater so, Davenport, yeah. June 3rd, Mesa, Arizona. Ooh. Look at this. You got to stay in your seats, though. This is not SeaWorld. They don't want to. No, no, I, I get to. it. But They were throwing fish at me on the stage. <laughs> Those big hoop ago. earrings. Woo. They were holding them up, waiting for a dolphin <laughs> to jump through your earrings and eat one of the fish. I thought they thought I was an orca. <laughs> I guess that's a compliment somewhere. Grab your tickets, Laughs and Liberty Comedy Tour. Me and Big Jim Fela, Clearwater this weekend. And then the world. Tickets on sale now. Don't miss out. Meet and greet VIP. We will hug you the wrong way. Way.